welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing some angel nails this is my right hand here as soon as I got that green polish from Madame Glam I knew I had to use it with this foil this angel foil and it has the green in it and I thought it just went perfectly so yeah I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna put on my ring finger if I want to put this gold little angel or if I want to put this white one so yeah you'll see at the end what I decide but I'm going in with the perfect white from Madame Glam and you're a joke and I'm going to do my first marble. I've never done uh, marble nails, so you'll see that. But yeah, first we're going to go in with our Madame Glam base coat. We're going to apply a coat of that and we're going to cure the hand for 30 seconds. So I'm going to do this method of marbling that I saw on nail, uh, Nails by Nelly. Uh, she puts little dots on the nail. You'll see that I'm just putting down my colors right now on my little palette. And then I take my dotting tool and um, you're just going to place little dots around the finger or around the nail, excuse me. Um, yeah, I get out of frame in some parts and then I kind of catch myself, but... I think I did the dots a little bit too close. I should have spaced them out a little bit. I mean, I still think it came out cute, but like I said, this was my first time doing a marble. So yeah, I just went in with the green and I'm just gonna go in with um, little dots of the white. So now I'm just going to take the dotting tool and kind of swirl the colors together. But like I said, I think I just did too many or, yeah, just too close together. I should have spaced them out a little bit. I mean, the nail didn't come out bulky or anything, but um, I still like the way it came out because I wanted like a faint color. But yeah, I just got to play around with the, play around with it more. You just want to make sure you get it you know get it pretty good around the cuticle I had to go with a brush and kind of clean that up but then once I have that I did cure that just for about 15 seconds or so I still wanted it a little bit wet so I could put these gold flakes this is my first time using gold flakes and I didn't realize how they kind of dissolve I thought they were like the same material as the glitter I'd never gotten them out so yeah they're really fine and really thin so yeah I just kind of put them on the nail and then I kind of use my finger to push them down a little bit you know gentle but yeah I think it came out cute and so I did cure that finger for 30 seconds and now I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the thumb and you can see I did space out um, the polish a little bit more on the thumb and I really like the way the thumb came out the one on the left hand it came to me it just that's like perfectly how I wanted it so yeah so just make sure you yeah, had to space out the dots And then I am going to use the Eno Couture shiny top coat. The only top coat I have from Madame Glam is the top coat that, um, it's not the Null Wipe. 
so it has a sticky layer and I don't know I didn't really care for it um, so I just went ahead and used a shiny top coat but I'm gonna go ahead and order one from Madam Glam they're no white top coat because I've, I've heard a lot of people say that's their favorite top coat so definitely gonna try that and so for the rest of the fingers we're just gonna go in with two coats of the you're a joke and then I cure each coat for 30 seconds I think I only show one finger because I mean it's, I'm just polishing the nails and then on the ring finger I'm gonna go in with the top coat the other two I'm not gonna go in with the top coat yet because we're gonna do foils on those nails so I'm gonna take the 2B Glam uh, foil gel and I'm gonna apply a layer of that to my middle finger and then I'm gonna cure that for 60 seconds and then I do let it stay out of the lamp for a couple seconds uh, probably about 15 seconds or so before I put the foil on this one came out good um, I think I had a little crease in it but um, overall it came out pretty good you just got to make sure you rub it really really good So yeah, I'll even use my nail, or um, I think you'll see here, yeah, I use the metal tweezer. That really helps to push it down. So yeah, I just lift it to, and, you know, really lightly and make sure if there's something lifting, then I'll rub it real good. And that usually, you know, makes it transfer good. So yeah, I was pretty happy with the way this one came out. Now the index. Oh my goodness, this is the second try right here. And you'll see I left this in this was a fail it totally I mean it had a huge crease in the center you'll see I try to rub it down and I just rip it off <laughs> I was getting so frustrated so I wiped it off and then this is the third uh, third try and I, it did have a tiny little crease on the rose but you could barely see it so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and top coat it. Yeah, it's like everything in the video, you know, it's like, oh, it looks perfect, but no, I mean, sometimes it takes, like I just knocked the bottle over. <laughs> sometimes it takes a couple tries, you know, it's just one of them days, like the, the right hand came out perfect, the foils came out perfectly, but I don't know what was happening with that index finger. <laughs> But yeah, I did decide to go in with the gold charm. Um, I think the gold just tied in with the gold flakes. The white one, I think, if I would have did it on the middle finger, didn't have a foil there and put the charm on the middle, it would have worked because it's kind of a large charm. But yeah, I just decided to go with the gold one and I think it looks cute. And so now I'm going in with the Madam Glam cuticle oil. This is Prairie. This is the lavender scent. Oh, this stuff is great. This is my new fake cuticle oil. It's the smell is perfect and it's like a really good oil. So this is the finished set here. I think they came out super cute. I love the way the thumb came out on the left hand. Oh my gosh, it just came out the way I, I pictured it. So yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this set. Madam Glam polishes are just amazing. Then I do have a code Sandra30 underscore one if you want to use that code to save 30%. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your love and support, and we'll see you next time. Bye.